Hi guys and welcome to the Throws Hub podcast. I believe this is number five. Uh, this is the first one of 2019 and I thought that we could start by going over some of my plans and other bits and pieces for the Throws Hub brand. Um, something that's it's just been absolutely amazing and I, I, I can't thank people enough every single time is the amount of support that I've had for all the content I've ever done, all the articles I've ever done just the interaction from all of you all um i've had so many people saying like like it's amazing how it's it's admirable how much effort you're putting into these videos and that honestly means the absolute world to me because this is all it's ever been about is just having a bit of fun it i enjoy coaching i enjoy doing my throwing and i enjoy making videos all about throwing now sometimes it does get stressful sometimes it is difficult sometimes you have to sort of try and bring a bit more creativity out in yourself But overall, I absolutely love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. We recently, in 2019, we hit 5,000 subscribers, which isn't a massive amount. It's not, you know, it's not in the millions. We're not we're not looking at these like PewDiePie kind of things. And if you don't know who he is, I'm sure most of you do that watch all of this. But we're not at that stage yet. But at the end of the day, that's still nearly 5,000, well over 5,000. Currently, it's about 5,300 people. And that's 5,300 fans of throwers throwing fans and that's the main thing it's always been about is is going and putting my videos out towards people that enjoy throwing and maybe even motivating ex-throwers new throwers younger throwers uh, maybe even non-throwers but just trying to sort of entertain people and show people that throwing isn't just pushed to one side as the media will always show this is how i've always been i've always wanted to bring more um notice when it comes to throwing and i will continue to do so and that's why i've got my hashtag get throwing notice which is something i do all every year i'm going to be pushing that brand even more that's what i really want to be doing i want to be pushing it even more getting more petitions and stuff set up and ready to go so that we can sort of relaunch it and try and really push it towards the uh, the bbc itv all of these other uh, media stations that just find that they don't put enough throwing content on TV. So that's always been the plan. Now I've got a few things I wanted to talk about um, just to sort of start off. The Throws Hub Featured Thrower, that is a ongoing series that I've been doing since 2015 and it's just been me doing like a little montage or comp- compilation video of a particular thrower. Um, it, it's kind of in a way like a Throws Hub Hall of Fame I suppose you could call it but I am very tempted to do a throws her pool of fame thing um but i've always done it it's just to showcase some throwers plus it cr- brings a creative side out of myself and i can learn things from it and maybe one day do some proper actual original content on it now i've got some amazing stuff that's in my head planned and i've also if i can get it all sorted i could be possibly getting together and having one of the best videos that I will have ever made on this entire channel but I can't say anything about it yet I don't even know if it's happening I just want to make sure it's happening though so that's one of the things um, as people know the websites and stuff that all me everything is 100% me um, and all the music I use and all that is from royalty free places that's like um, uh, 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 monster cat you can use um no copyright sounds uh montage montage rock which is another channel that's just basically does um rock music you know like what sort of modern day rock i suppose alter alternate alternative alternative rock and things like that now that's something that you can all check out it's all free it's on youtube go in there check it out use all the clips everything like that the other things is the website is currently going through developments. I'm sorting a store out, which is something that I am going to get to very soon. Just before I do that, I also, if you didn't know, do articles and I write for Throwholics, uh, which is another website, a big throwing community that I've been part of for a long time now. 
and it was pretty much 2015 when I started that up. They wanted me to get involved with it all and, and all that. But I wanted to keep Throws Hub as a media page and do all my writing and articles and news and all that to do with stuff. Obviously, the podcast here, that's where I can talk about it myself. But at the same time, it's over there on throwholics.com. But they are going for a whole revamp thing. It's pretty much been me doing all of it. So they've kind of given me this, finally given me this, this platform to actually push my ideas. And, but they've given me basically creative control which is brilliant because i can actually finally start to upload some brilliant content and and redevelop the website we need to move with the times i've done all this before i've done thousands and thousands of forums websites and stuff like that it's time to move forward going back to throws hub um there's a shop i'm currently in sort of doing it i really want to just do a few t-shirts i've got these cups and mugs and stuff but people are not bothered i kind of want to push that that just helps support the channels and support all the editing software i use and all of that but if no one wants to do it that's fine i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be annoyed about it it's perfectly fine with me moving on podcast plans now the podcast plans are pretty much to do a more professional looking podcast a bit like we're using now i've got a brand new microphone i've had just bought it for other projects um it's, it's got better quality and you can pick up me a lot better than some fuzzy thing but that said i still want to bring out news and other things like that I've learned over the years that what to put in titles and what to put in thumbnails because it's very misleading and I don't want to do clickbait. Now I did do a podcast a while back and it was about a particular athlete being done for drugs, which they were, they were done for drugs, they were banned, but the problem is I completely didn't realise at the time and it should have been so obvious to me, I put a picture of a particular athlete who wasn't being done was just very popular at the time and people instantly thought that he was being banned like clickbait wasn't that it's just the wrong time and it was the wrong sort of thumbnail to put in it and i can only apologize for that but i've learned from it and i won't do it again throws her performance now what is throws her performance basically i've been a coach for years now i was i'm a thrower all of that will still am a javelin thrower at heart will always do that and that's always what i want to do but at the same time i went through a spurt where I basically put it bluntly I broke my back and I for about two years was out and to tell you the honest truth you as every thrower goes if you ever get injured you go through this kind of period where you feel like that's it your career's done and if it wasn't for coaching some athletes just like doing it in my own time because I'm very stubborn if it wasn't for me just sort of seeing so maybe teaching myself learning a bit myself I probably would have retired and now I got to the point where I coached my first few athletes uh, my coach left I broke my back they needed a coach I didn't have a coach I thought I'll step up and help them out and they've been my best friends ever since and that's where the coaching has got me and now I've been uh, luckily enough very successful with having one uh, well two throwers that have gone extremely good and I, when I say extremely good, I don't want to name names or anything like that, but I've got one that's 70 metres at age 15, and another that's 16, she's a female, she's throwing about 45 metres, which is amazing, absolutely amazing, and I don't care for that, it's nothing, to do, they get all the credits, nothing to do with me, I don't do it for this, but... I've been very lucky to do that. And the Throws Hub performance was basically a thing that I I always record clips as I do with my claim training. And for the past like four years, I've already recorded things, bits and pieces, all of that. And this time I just thought, well, why don't I just upload it to Throws Hub? Because it's a channel about everything. And I didn't want it to be a channel that's just, prof like just top athletes. I want it to be a community. That's the whole point of the channel. So I've created this thing as a massive community so people can upload anything to me they can literally send me videos and i will put them in a video and i will put you on the channel and i will credit everything in the description absolutely everything because i think that you all need to be noticed it's not just me it should be you as well so that's what throws her performance is it's always going to be me making videos and stuff and the whole little title is just something to call it instead of episode 10 it's going to be an episode 10 and it's going to have a name and that's the idea i've always wanted to do that and I finally did it. I thought, screw it, I'm just going to do it. And I've done it, and I'm extremely happy about with it. And at the moment of recording this video, uh, which will also be uploaded today, which is the 2nd of the 3rd, 2019, let's say that, um, I will be uploading a video of Throws Hub pr 
performance episode 10 and uh, it's ready to go when I am done with this video. Um, I want to work really hard with them. I really want them to achieve their goals and go international and if they can make a living out of it, make a living out of it. I don't want anything. So that's just it. I just want them to be able to say they could, they've they thrown internationally. They've maybe thrown, you know, if, if Olympics. That would be like the biggest goal ever. Olympics. We could actually have someone from Great Britain again in the javelin for the Olympics. And that would be apt and, and actually compete with the athletes that are there. And that would be what I want to do. So that's throw to her performance. I'm sorry to give you this really long thing on it. Uh, the new and upcoming javelin season. Now, obviously, I've just talked about my athletes and things. Um, more talking about the other new ones. I've seen a lot of things going around. Um, Johanna Zvetta, people still think he's he's going to break the world record, and I and I hope he does, and it'd be absolutely brilliant. I think Thomas Roller would do it. Um, I can't pronounce it. I'm very sorry. It's Chopper. I can't pronounce his first name. Uh, N N Niraj, I think. Um, he's he. I'm looking very forward to the season and what begins of that. I do think that he will. I don't think he's going to hit 90. This is just a personal thing. I don't think he's going to hit 90 this year. I think it'd be like 89 is what he will end his season on. And that would be extraordinary. It, you never know. It could just be 88 again. Um, I think Julius Yego is going to come back up. I think that's going to happen. I think that's going to hit a 90 meter again. Um, Vett is obviously going to hit 90. I think I think Roller's going to go and hit a 94 or something. Um I think some of the Finns are going to come back. Um, there's going to be some real amazing distances happening this year. But I think the biggest distance is going to be about 94, maybe 95. Um, amazing if 96 happened. But I, at the moment, I think it is what it is. And that's just my sort of view on it. I mean, I could be completely wrong, of course. Everyone could go and throw, someone could go and throw 99 metres. You know, of course it could happen. But for me personally, right now, seeing it, I'll maybe make a different assumption further on in the year. That's what I want to do with the podcast. I want to make these more frequent. And even if I'm talking about absolutely nothing, just, just find some stuff to talk about. Um, now, the next thing is the what's my next challenges. Now, I've got some cool things. Um, I do want to broadcast more to, as well. Add in more Indian and Chinese audiences. Now, the reason I mean by that is I want to try and promote more of the Chinese and Indian competitions, which I don't really do. Um, and that's something that, because it's a broader audience, it's a bigger audience, it's more people. And that's more people that could maybe come in on the channel and notice the content. Um, again, not bothered. I earn a little bit of money from it, and all my money goes on videos anyway, and equipment. That's that's all I care about, and website, I suppose. So that is something that I really want to do, is brought, get a broader audience. Now, next challenge... Something that is happening is currently in the stages of happening, and, and I'm very much looking forward to it. If this is through Throws Hub and Throwholics, now Throwholics, it, it, everything's myself. I've done all of this. Um, I've contacted OTE, um, the, well, I say OTE, Jill Athletics, or Gill Athletics, sorry, who do um, the OTE javelins. That's like the carbon javelin that uh, Jans and Esley threw to break the world record, that company. They released a brand new one of that. Uh, that model so what they've done is they are going to send me some javelins to do a review on i'm doing the review on the behalf of throwholics but i'm also going to be doing a video and a throws hub original content for on throws hub for the javelins and we're going to talk about absolutely everything so it's going to be brilliant and i can't wait to do that um, but I have to obviously let you all know when it happens and bits and pieces. You can also follow me on Instagram. That's, by the way, is uh, just gone on Instagram. It's throwsub.co.uk on Instagram. So just type that into ooh, Instagram. Um, but besides that, that pretty much concludes this podcast. Now, the podcast, I haven't got any news at the moment. There's only more indoor things. I want to sort of let the indoor things sort of slowly sort of rack up. And then I can bring some more content out. But besides that, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, there is only one thing, the Polish guy did win, the Polish shot put thrower did win the Indoor European Championships today, which was pretty bloody cool, let's put it that way. So besides that, thank you very much for tuning in and watching this podcast, listening to this podcast, I should say, on YouTube. I don't do SoundCloud anymore, I think there's more of an audience on here, so that is my reason. Um, thank you very much, and again... All the best for everyone in the future, and if you've got any topics you need to talk about and what you think my opinion is, please let me know. Please comment, everything like that. 
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, don't do Snapchat. <laughs> so besides that, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys again soon.